okay y'all welcome back to ACTV today I'm going to be doing a story time about the epic fail of my first tattoo so let's get right into the video oh I'm not going to be disclosing um, like the location or who the person is that did the tattoo but if you already know let's just keep it a little secret because you don't want to bash anybody but yeah let's get into the video okay y'all so i had decided that just like out of nowhere i wanted a tattoo because the um but not because i had went earlier that day to the tattoo shop with this guy i was dating at the time and he was like getting something like on his arm and like i watched the whole tattoo process and everything and it looked pretty good like his tattoo came out really good he had like like a picture on his arm so i was like okay like maybe i can trust this guy to give me my tattoo because i was i mean i was there everything looked fine it looked fine so i was like okay this this should be good so while he was getting his tattoo i had asked the um the tattoo man that's what we're gonna call him yeah the tattoo man i asked him if it was okay if i came back later to get my tattoo and he was basically like yes he told me to come i think he told me to come at like 9 p.m or something because he had something to do during the day so i was like okay cool so after um the guy i was with got his tattoo we went back to his house and then we came back at the night to get my tattoo done so um before i had got there the tattoo guy he was like um to send him a, a picture of the tattoo that i wanted so i was like okay so i sent him the tattoo it's like um it's actually this y'all right here but i'm gonna I'm show y'all better like a picture when i'm done talking but it says every dark Oh my god, I can't talk. It says through every dark night. Oh Girl, my spit god. It out. It says through every dark night there is a brighter day. And I have been looking at this tattoo for a long time. Like I've been knowing for a long time that this is what I wanted my first tattoo to be. So I was like, okay. And I had the the exact font, the exact like everything how I wanted the tattoo to be because I had been wanting it for a long time. So I sent him the tattoo and the if i can find the picture of the exact picture that i sent him then i'll show y'all that too but i had sent him the tattoo that a woman had on her on her chest right here the same exact thing and it said through every dark night there's a brighter day and the font was like really simple it was like kind of like maybe like a modern almost typewriter font because i wanted it to be really simple because it's my first tattoo like i didn't want anything crazy i didn't even know if it was gonna hurt how it was gonna go like so I just wanted something really simple. So I sent him this picture of what I wanted and he takes back like, oh, that's um, that's too original. Like, I'm not doing your tattoo like that, basically. So I'm just like, how are you going to tell me how I want my tattoo? Like, it's my tattoo. So I, I then that's what I told him. And he was like, no, like like basically like no like send me a different font like we can do the same words but send me a different font and at this point like it's like eight something and my appointment is at nine o'clock so like i'm scrambling like all over like um google and stuff pinterest instagram everything trying to find like a different font that was similar to what i wanted but it was just i was like in a panic so I had found a different font and it was simple, but it was like kind of like a cursive kind of thing. It, it was still like very modern kind of, but it was cursive instead. So it wasn't, it still wasn't nothing extravagant, nothing fancy, nothing. So I was like, okay, cool. This font is good. So I sent it to him. He was like, okay, bet. Like, this is fine. So y'all, I get there. He's like cleaning all the products, like setting up to get my tattoo. And I'm like really nervous. And um, the guy I was dating at the time, he was like getting ready to like record it because I wanted to record it for my first tattoo. So like he starts the tattoo. Well, let me 
rewind. Um, he does like the stencil and he shows it to me. And in my head, I'm just kind of like, uh, uh, but like, okay, it doesn't look that bad. Like maybe it'll look better once he like starts the tattooing process. But it still didn't look bad like on the stencil. And then at the same time, this is my first tattoo. So my I'm excited, like I'm scared, I'm nervous. Like I don't really know what to expect. So he showed me the stencil. I was like, okay, like this looks good. And the guy I was with, he looked at it too. He's like, okay, like this, this looks good. This is cool. So y'all, he starts tattooing and it doesn't hurt anything. Like this is the least painful tattoo that I have. And he starts tattooing and everything is going good. Like I'm chilling. It's it's going good. So then he quote well, before the tattoo he quoted me like fifty or sixty dollars for it. So I'm like, okay, cool, like that's not bad. So then he's doing the tattoo, it's over, boom, the tattoo is done. And I like try to get up and look at it in the mirror, but you know like if you look at it in the mirror like it, the tattoo is gonna look backwards because you know like how you read so i had the guy i was dating at the time to take a picture <laughs> y'all i had him to take a picture of the um of the tattoo and i look at it a couple times i'm like okay this looks good and then like i look at it again and i'm like he spelled night wrong but i didn't like y'all this is funny i'm like really about to start crying laughing well, it's funny now, but I was looked at the guy that I started dating, and I was like, like trying to get his attention, like trying to look at him, like without trying to make a scene, like trying to see if he see what I see, because I'm like, this is not right, like this is not right. So eventually, like he gets, like picks up what I'm talking about, and like we look at each other, like, oh, like there's this, mm -mm, that ain't right, like something that mm -mm, that didn't go right. So I I tell the tattoo man, I'm like. Uh, I think you spelled the word night wrong. So he's like, what? And like, I'm telling y'all, instead of apologizing, like his first instinct was, oh, I showed you the stencil. So now you're going to blame me because you can't spell like what? I was like, I mean, like I took some blame for it because you did show me the stencil, but this is what you do every day. So, why can't you spell night? So, I told him, and he's like, okay, no biggie. Like, we can fix it. And he wasn't, like, phased at all. Like, he do this often. Like, he spells stuff wrong often. And y'all, <laughs> he had the nerve to say, oh, I'm a tattoo artist, not an uh, English teacher. I was just like what like what like no like just at this point i was really upset because first of all you messed the tattoo up now you're saying all this crazy stuff like just fix it so i can leave like and then in my head i'm thinking like is he still going to charge me for this because this is unacceptable like first of all i would point out all the stuff that's just not good about it once i'm done because yeah no so he's like, okay, no biggie, like I can fix it. So we get to, um, I'm laying down on the table and he's fixing the tattoo. So y'all can see right here, he spelled night wrong. This is where he spelled night wrong. He spelled it N-I-T-G-H-T. -T. Just, just so y'all know, that's not right. And he fixed it. He ended up doing like changing it to N-I-T-E. And he tried to put like a, a moon or something right here yeah or something right here yeah he tried to put a moon he was like yeah i'm fixed i'm just gonna put a moon right here and i'm just do this do this blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm just like okay at this point i don't care just hurry up so i can leave so he fixes it and then i get up and i'm like are you still gonna charge me and he's like yeah it's still fifty dollars and i'm just like are you serious like are you serious right now like you can't you can't be for real Okay, for some reason, I had ran out of storage, but okay, so let me finish. So, the tattoo is over, I leave. He never, he still never apologizes 
for messing up my tattoo he's like just blaming it on me the whole time basically like saying like i showed you it you should have been paying attention basically which is true but at the same time this is what you do for a living so what do you mean so i get back to the guy the my boyfriend at the time i get back to his house and we're like showing his parents like the tattoo and stuff and you can like see on their face they're just like huh like something didn't go right something did not go right and like we peel you know like they put the plastic or saran wrap or whatever you want to call it on the tattoo once you leave so he had it on here so when i got to their house like i peeled it off to um show them and i swear i i'm not playing y'all like i swear like the like the letters like since it was on me like this like the plastic and when I peeled it up, it's like the letters started like coming off. Like the tattoo was just like coming off as like I'm pulling the plastic up, like I swear. And then after that, like the tattoo, it was really faint. So I'm just like, is this supposed to happen? Like, is the ink supposed to come off? Like something is not right. Something is not, this ain't right. Something, uh-uh, no. So I'm just like, oh my gosh and this is what i was left with i got this done maybe i don't know a year and something ago like you couldn't read it if you tried people literally come up to me and are like um is that real or did you like draw it on did you do that yourself and i'm just like so embarrassed because no i paid money for this and a professional tattoo artist did it so we are it's supposed to say through every dark night there's a brighter day this is where he messed it up and you can't read it you cannot read it that the you, you just, i don't even know what to say you can't read it it's it's really bad it's really bad but it was a learning lesson because i found out that just because you can draw doesn't mean you can scribe so i guess you have to watch out for that when you're going to get that where i know now but y'all y'all look at this it looks like a little kid wrote it, honestly. And people, I, I'm telling y'all, like, at school when I first got it, people were really, like, coming up to me like, oh, my God, did you do that yourself? Like, is that real? Like, all this stuff. And I'm just, like, so embarrassed because I don't want to tell them who did it because, I mean, that's not nice. But then I don't want them to go to him and then they get messed up tattoo but yeah y'all that is my experience from my first tattoo my very first tattoo y'all and it was not a good one it was not pleasant at all i was really traumatized after that because no and i'm really like passive and i was gonna tell him like no it's okay like you don't gotta fix it but then i thought in my head like this is permanent this is permanent I think just be like no like it's okay no because it's not but i'm getting a cover-up that's my next tattoo it's gonna be a cover-up i have more tattoos i'll maybe show y'all one day and give y'all like a, um like what they mean because they all have like meanings of course not saying that your tattoo has to have a meaning because they don't you may just like something and want it but y'all that's it for my story time today and if y'all have any suggestions about what i could get to cover this mug up please drop it down in the comments because i need a cover up and it's just so sad because it's right like there's no hiding it like i can't even wear cute shirts because i mean i can wear them but you're still going to see this yeah bad it was bad and his attitude was even worse nasty nasty just ugh but yeah thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and help me get my subscribers up really in my watch tell me what i can do to entertain y'all basically i'll do it just let me know you gotta you got to drop it down in the comments hit me on my social media but yeah, thank you guys for watching.